done. All right. And we have had a time technically today, but we're here. Welcome to the Black Store. The Black Friday Record Store Day unboxing at the Record Bar here in Wilmington, North Carolina. Are you a little bit behind? No, we'll catch up in a hurry. Show you what we've already put out there a little bit. We're working through the boxes. The America album, which is live at Goodbye Summer 1971. We're already starting to uh, put those out. Do not, do not judge the quantities based on what you see. Just what was in the box that's been opened already. Black Label Society. Skull Age. That one's looking good. Marshall Crenshaw. Got that going on. That's the uh, one that was sort of very popular. The Dead Milkmen. The Deceased Dairy Delivery People. The Dead Milkmen. We have arrived. Made already got some out of those. Green Jelly. Already out and about. Springfield. Jesse's Girl. 40th anniversary. Rick looking a little. Rick looks a little older. Oh, he does look kind of running around with Johnny Depp. We have uncovered a Willie Nelson live at Budokan. Got those here. Remember, you're just seeing out what's happened in the first few boxes. We've ordered from a couple of different people. And the Todd Rundgren something box set. Got one of those out. And while I'm mentioning that, I can tell you that I've already gotten a look at the Jerry Garcia band box set. A big pile of those over here. You can better look at glare wise. And I already had a look at the Fleetwood Mac alternate box set. This thing's going to uh, be in heavy demand. Fleetwood Mac, Rumors, Tusk, Live, Mirage, and Tango in the Night. All in one box. Vinyl. Vinyl. We can take a glimpse at that pile right there. That is Jerry Garcia and Fleetwood Mac already to this point. So as you see, big commitment to the box set. I think this is the best box set RSD in the history of RSD. If I can hear, I can go ahead and say that this is the best box set of all. I've shown you Garcia. Uh-oh. It is Donna and I. We're not expected to be the two of us. You guys know how we like to respect each other on Thursday night. I'm not out of the way. So off we go. She's smiling at me. There's the Grateful Dead. Um, 50th anniversary. Live at Wembley. So Grateful Dead box set. And I can tell you that this is a box full of those. So if you come to our thank you, buddy. You come to our show, come to the store on Friday, the show on Saturday, what we'll do is we'll keep the rest of these boxed up for you. So you can safely transport it. safely mail to wherever you are when it comes to Saturday. The Saturday show has had a slight change. It is now at 9 as opposed to 10. All right, we got you coming up. Making sure that do a couple of things here. The Willie Nelson, the Doors Paris Blues. We've gotten those out so far. That one looks like it's going to have some demand. We got an old school rock and roll crowd that hangs around with us on Thursday nights. Jimi Hendrix, Burning Desire. We got a young crowd that hangs out with us on Thursday night, Madonna. And then we've shown you the, um, we've shown you the box sets. And that, that's taken somewhere. All right, I believe. Okay, Dad, what do you know about records from there this time? What do I know about it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought you were going to tell him he's lost his mind when he ordered. Uh, oh, yes. Oh, 
Okay. Uh oh. No, I didn't happen right up on the snoop. Snoop dog. Some snoop dog. Kool Aid. Snoop dog. I'm going to go ahead and put some of those in the, the pot. That, this is what I feel like I'm uh, cooking show. We're going we're gonna to have some Hendrix and some doors. We're going to mix in a little snoop. Make you feel better. Here's snoop. Um, one of the things that um, has been mentioned about Record Store in the past is its lack of soul music. This one is really aggressive in soul music. The Supremes, where did our love go? Yeah, that's in the house. Putting that close to the S. This Don is sort of monitoring where I'm putting this stuff as I go. That's sort of like moonlighting, how they do it. Um, Towns Van Zant. That's a T or a, that's a V. Okay. All right. Towns Van Zant. Put some of those in. Dawn FM. Dawn FM. Black Friday. And these tell you something about what's happening with. Um, Record Store Day, and this humble man's opinion is that I don't know my alphabet. What's happening? God, she's looking at me. You want to show him the look? Okay. You know what? That's what you do so much. Sweet. It is sweet. She fixes it, but it's also sweet, the album. Good looking piece. Official vault. Give us a wink. Alternative mixes and demos. Sweet fans. What happened is this year we bought from a couple of different distributors, and then they would send as they surely as they could um, commit Tommy Townsend. They'd send us their titles once they could commit. All of these boxes, two rows or full, these are, are already empty of those box sets. Huh? Good. We got those three, four. I think it's 18 or 19. Smokey Robinson and the Miracles. Smokey Robinson and the Miracles. Going to a go-go. It does have tracks of my tears. Second that emotion. Isn't that the name of the Smokey song? Young Smokey looking good. Hope you're enjoying this. It's a Sunday afternoon. A real test of my allegiance between records and the National Football League. I'm making it happen. Notice I'm carefully not lifting anything while seemingly moving things about. Don't do that. I'd be going backwards. Okay. So, I'm going to roll this one open. What do you think's in this one? Records. Records. That you can buy and give to people for equipment. All right, this looks like Pumpkinhead, an entire set of the Grateful Dead album, box set. So this is an example of when you've seen us open Grateful Dead in another box. And now, just want to make sure you don't judge what you see. But I can tell you that you can judge this next one. Because of the Fleetwood Mac alternate. Hmm. All right, this entire box is great and dead. With one exception. All right, okay. So that will come close. I don't know, there's that book right there. Learn how to move stuff around efficiently. Here's the Fleetwood Mac alternate collection in CD. I'll shoot you straight. This is the only two CDs that I have. You know how I like to call it? The little stuff. Could be a tough investment. Cool stuff. Record Bar ILM will be up and running on Saturday morning. I think Don is still getting some direction on how that's going to work, right? website people. 
because there's a chance that may cause extra units, right? Okay. All right. Let's get a little into some more stuff on the deeper side out here. Deep cow bar. Put that over here. What? In case you've ever wondered, it comes to a store separated from our regular order. It's a big orange D on the box. You don't have to spend a lot of time wondering what might be in this box that you didn't realize you ordered. And sometimes RSD, for me, is a little bit like Christmas, because I forget what I ordered. Wait, we got two more crates? Okay, good. I get to make my point earlier that I wanted to make sure you saw. A couple of Willie, another Willie Nelson came in this particular box. It's for him. He's looking almost as rough as, um, what's his name? Rick Springfield. Yeah, Rick and Ace. Right. All right, so Ace is trying to look bad. Rick just looks bad. The fine line. It's never how you feel. It's always how you look. A little bit more Snoop Dogg came in the house. Get this thing down and out. Snoop Dogg. Some of you said you wanted to see some unboxing. This is some high quality. Not H2O, but unboxing. Mama said Vicky Valancourt was the devil. The devil. The devil. She showed me her movies and I liked them. <laughs> that does. So much. Avco soul covers. Avco Vision soul covers. I'll tell you, there's not a lot of these. Uh, this was covers. Um, Songs by Dylan, the Supremes, Elvis, Ray Charles, and more. Avco Covers is one of the things that has got um, has gotten some some interest early. All right, so haven't done this yet today for you. This is your common everyday uh, twenty-five. Mailer comes from a distributor. It's got a flap in it, flaps over, and dents to help with the corners. What you want to do is simply lay it on a flat surface. You're going to take a common everyday uh, razor. You're never going to cut toward you, you're going to cut away from you or other people in the room. You slice that, you pull the flap back, just like a fish almost. You open it to fillet it. Get a little bit of filler sometime, and then you start to extract your albums. Unfortunately, it's a Sunday when I'm doing this, so I'm going to let you hold this name for yourself. There you go. Yeah. Uh, crates, baby. We're having a good time. Got off to a technically difficult start. Because of all the technically challenged people that are in this particular room. But I gotta say, she figured it out. I did not. You just got props for it. Okay. It goes out one. Ace Fraley. There's Ace, some more Ace. I'll put Ace in this one. Right there. Okay. Ace Fraley, a picture disc. Not a big fan of picture disc, but usually. Okay. Now, we're rolling right along. Most adults don't understand something until they're told three times. Common Everyday 25 Baylor LP set. I hope you're enjoying this. My name is Tony, I'm the record store, record bar. We're opening our record store Black Friday. We open at 8 o'clock this coming Friday morning. We're online again on Saturday at 9. Remember, we can't hold anything. We'll occasionally tell you what we got. Back to 
to my concern when you see two or three. Do not fret. Here comes Willie again. Willie's live at Budokan. I just tell people I knew that were live at Budokan was her, what was her name? Oh, oh. You think of that guy didn't give any Jimmy Hendrix? Let me back you up off that position. Jimmy Hendrix burning desire. Jimmy Hendrix burning desire. Alright, so that, now this is like opening and preparing. This is the oven where, where we cook it. So what you want to do is just put it in gently. No stir. Cover it for five days and let us. Why are you laughing? Cover it for five days and let it summer. And then when the peoples show up, it's coming Friday morning, it'll be warm and toasty and ready. Needle drop ready. All right, buddy. A little scale here. Oh. Hillary is not dead. The crossbow shield has a hell of an investment in my right ass cheek. So I'm going to see if we can protect it a little bit. Normally, that would make me crazy. Now, honey, that's packing. What they're saying. One of the things you need to do when these are included in the packing swell is you go ahead and you just, no need to hide them, no need to do anything about it, just hand them to her. And that popping noise that you're going to hear in the background is exactly what you think it is. Number one most allocated is Janis Joplin and Norma Kalkonen. Norma Kalkonen, Janis Joplin. Um, wow, this one has been allocated heavy. It always baffles me that somebody seems to want to the star to keep making music. Um, interesting that Ringo's got her on his neck, and then the back picture's a little bit disturbing. Just said up close Friday morning. You need to. Four, six, eight, ten, ten in this box. We have chili peppers. Return of the Dream Canteen. Duck Peppers. Vitamin String Quartet. Vitamin String Quartet. Oops, already sort of open. Okay, no problem. We cope with that. One more Ringo. Ringo Star. The only living bill I should exalt him. Not. Picture disc. Ghost. Ghost in the picture disc. The cityscapes in ghost albums are pretty damn impressive. The character on the cover is pretty damn get out of my face. One of those things that you shoot five or six times and say, are you still walking towards me, really? <laughs> Charlie Mingus, Candid. Charlie Mingus, Candid. Record Store Day has been a little soft, I think, on jazz lately. Comes back. I bet you Tony Bennett wished they were cheek to cheek. Tony Bennett and Lady Gaga, cheek to cheek. Not necessarily the best picture I've ever seen of Gaga. Anything goes, cheek to cheek. Sure that you folks are interested in that? Why wouldn't you be interested in Tony Bennett and Lady Gaga? 
Hammersmith, 82. That was going to look familiar to you. Duran Duran, look at that. Duran Duran. Rio, Hungry Like the Wolf. Girls on Film. I forgot about Girls on Film. Duran Duran, if you live in the South. If you live anywhere else, it's probably Duran Duran. Talked a little bit about jazz. Kind of if you're watching, I know you might will see this eventually. There's the monk, Thelonious, the monk. Record store day darlings all of a sudden. The monkey. Four. The monkeys, more of the monkeys. Tell you the truth, after that one, the next one that comes needs to be enough of the monkeys. The four tops, we mentioned a very soul friendly record store day. Some folks unbox after they've organized them. Some folks do it this way. So that way I have to make stuff up as I pull them out. Etta James. Etta is better than ever. All those words end with H's and A's and that kind of stuff. Etta James is in the house. The more soul you occupy, it's your soul home. Music uh, unites the soul of everyone. Gladys Knight and the Pips. Now that you see that little beauty. No, Donna, I have no pattern. I think you picked that up. Vintage Trouble. There's a story here that I should tell you. Vintage Trouble was at Bonnaroo one day, and we heard them on my phone and just kept walking until we found them. Great act. Imagine James Brown with uh, Johnny Cash's band, and you've got Vintage Trouble. The man was wearing a crushed velvet tuxedo with a white frilly shirt, and he said when the set was over, if you see me out there walking around, um, help a brother out if you got some joint uh, with you. And he said, it won't be hard to find me because from up here it looks like a clan meeting down there. Rockabye Baby. What is this? This is Blink 182. Blink 182. Rockabye Baby. We're rolling right now. We are rolling through a record store day unboxing of epic proportion. See if I can make it just fine. There we go. Okay. If the little flat thing that I showed you how to cut open, if that's like a, the fish itself, the big box is the color. Come on. <laughs> Slice that thing. Cut it both ways. Should never cut toward me. No need to uh, have an intestinal situation develop right here. You talk about intestinal. You change the blade every now and then. Open it up. Something you always want to do. Music never goes stale, but you have to make sure. Okay. Smells fresh to me. Fresh, fresh new vinyl right here. Cutting it open. All right. Continuing to make my point. If you see your album come by, and you thought, oh, we don't have a lot of copies. This looks like a mixed match here. Madonna, one of those got slid into there. Slid me in. Waxwork, the original motion picture soundtrack to Waxwork. You're in the soundtracks, scores. What was this again? What? That's it. Uh oh, some small stuff. Keith Richards, cassette to cassette situation. Not a big fan of the small stuff. Green Sky Bluegrass, four of these. Can we talk as friends for a minute? I don't know what else is what I got here. 
the talk is from Oh no! Oh no, it went back to the big hole! Oh! I was going to discuss the fact that after all these years, somebody decided the hole of the 45 should be the same size as the. I'm just. You can tell me about it, dropping a whole bunch of them. But rocket science is coming to us. What do we got here? Some more smoking? Hmm. Oh my god. I lost my way for the first time. You think you know you didn't? It's at least the 13th time I've seen you that joint. Okay. A little bit more time. This was not your company. This cooler must have been uh, about sunset when the water got cool. Um, I wish we could talk personally right now, just to make sure you're paying attention. Gentle slice here. Hold back the flap. Down that knife, put back the flap, open, check the flavor. Okay, you don't need to weigh it. You see what you oh, see, another Madonna. Madonna becoming like the packing album. I did not say that. I wouldn't have thought I did. Jubilee Hummingbirds, Gospel Express. Guarantee you. Before 9 o'clock Friday morning, somebody will come in and say, Is there any chance you got the Global, the Gospel Express by the Jubilee Hummingbirds? And I'm going to say yes, because this is the kind of album that some stores skip. Ever been known to skip an album? Say that loud so people can hear you. Well, I still want to make sure that doors I don't know when the last time I saw one of these. I mean, this might be, I don't know anything about his discography. 50th anniversary, Captain Beefheart and the Magic Band. There's a lot of music on these two albums, 24 songs. Everybody knows that there was a limit on the length of an FM song back in the day, right? And that limit uh, caused people to write shorter songs, I believe. Wax work. Remember that was a soundtrack. Four tops. Remember I told you this is a big time um, soul. Big time soul. Got a James. You'll be impressed with what I've done all of a sudden. Four times. Just had a good run of four times. You can see this coming up as well. If you have not seen the record that you want, then that's because we haven't busted it out of its um, jail. Ringo got started back on this one. Ringo. Okay. This is exactly. These came in a couple of weeks ago. We had to guard them from mail. That is actually a true statement. Smokey, Smoker Robinson. Hmm, don't know where I put the Smokey. It'll catch up to me. Jazz Dispensary. Jazz Dispensary has been a great title for Record Store Day. This is Haunted High. A surreal soundtrack for exploration into the furthest depths of outer space. This is going to be the first one that I want to get. People that buy this are going to be, uh, I'm going to have to, I'm going to, have to call me back. Smokey Robinson. Robinson. Not um, the first Robinson. Jackie. Smokey. Hello, James. Rodney Allison, if you're watching, I know you're happy now. Six times over. On out of James. Sounds Van Zant. This is a, a mixture. 
this is where they had filled up a couple boxes, and I thought, we got to put some more records out here. And some more Ghost shows back up. If you're just joining us, you have not missed. What about half the show? All right. I know you're out there thinking. Pencil slice. Pull it over. Pop it. Towns Van Zandt. Goes back to the town's department. Tony, I wished I was cheek to cheek with her, Bennett. You only saw one, you were worried. Now you're getting ready to see the third one. You're still worried. Mingus from the jazz world. Let's get somebody new in here. Tommy Townsend. Most of this is with Waylon Jennings. Southern man, a good love died tonight. You need to keep that to yourself, buddy. Um, Tower of Power. Wow. 25th anniversary. Look at this very nice piece. Tower of Power. Fillmore Auditorium. San Francisco. Yes, indeed. First time we've seen the tower. I felt. Don't leave me out here. I said I. Um, I said the first time we'd seen the tower, and I felt. That's it. RSD product. Please do not display until November the 25th of 2022. Now, since this isn't a display, not know it. Doesn't mean that you don't go to your computer, hack into mine, and start peeping on what I'm doing here today. All right. Buddy, let's see what we got here. I'm going to get this one out. It only took us about 10 boxes to get a grip of Got a pretty smile today. Got an ugly frown. Pouty look down like sad. The old 97s. The old 97s. David Bowie and Bing Crosby, the little uh -oh. This looks a little bit better than even I envision. They told me peace forever. David Bowie, the little drummer. You're thinking, there's a big title in there that I have not seen yet. Let's get ready to change. Happier than ever. Billy Eilish. I'll put one there just to tease you. Remember from Dawn FM? I think that was way back up about right there. Billie Eilish. She has been a record store day. She actually might be in the record store day Hall of Fame. That um, one of the first record store days we did it. She had a mega hit of sold out about 47 seconds. So you say, how does something sell out in 47 seconds? You get one copy of something super rare, 8-0-0-8-0-0-0-4-7. Clutch box did that one day. Peace out, man. What did that do with David? Bing. You know, there had to be a time when they were recording this. And Bing says, David? Bing says, Bing, we have a lot in common. And Bing said, we are two breathing Caucasian males. That's about it. <laughs> Bing. Bing and Bowie. Uh-oh. You can see it now. We're building our Lord chest. Do you like Billy Eilish? Mm -hmm. I, you know what? I think that if any of that crew 
Taylor, Grande, that Olivia girl. Um, if any of that crew might appeal to my generation, I'm starting to think she's the leader. You can see that, right? Mm -hmm. Billie Eilish. One day she's going to get the same voice. That's a little bang, by the way. Uh-oh. Interesting little threesome in here with Eilish, Bing, and Bowie. I took that wrong. See, if you think dirty out there, that's not good. Dawn FM. Enough of those, I'm sure. Bing and bang. That thing is a video with like a hologram, right? You know what I'm talking about? Okay. Let's see what's up next. We're rolling. Something becoming in the little stuff category. You're all I need. Looks and kill, right? Looks that kill, home sweet home, you're all I need. Wild side. If you've been sitting there saying that fool ain't got no Monty Crew. Here's my Monty Crew. It can be your Monty Crew. I walk in your through the front door or being here at night time. Saturday morning. Motley Crew. Don't have no Motley Crew around here to come see us. Okay. I've been accused of ordering with my heart. Maybe one time I did not. Brian Ferry. Taxi. Hmm. Oh, 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 okay. Brian Ferry. Folks, there's a cover on this of Amazing Grace. Uh, I'm ready. Brian Ferry. Love Brian Ferry. Love Roxy Music. If you build a war chest or something, why do you think Billy Eilish is all stuck up in there? There's some more of my monthly crew. And I tell you what, folks, I say this on Thursday nights a lot about bands that snuck up on me when, I, when we opened this store, and it won't happen again. You ghost fans, you got me once. Shame on you. You get me again, shame on me. Ghost in the house. And the old 97s. Isn't that what um, Vince Vaughn, what's her name, Jennifer Aniston, bought the tickets. And it was the old 97s. And he didn't go that night. She had showed him that bear, beep, about a couple minutes before that. In the breakup? The breakup. Yes, it's nice, the old 97s. Okay, in case you think we're done, um, okay, buddy, I'm worried about that one. Hmm. Girl Strong. I tell you, if you've ever watched one of our shows, um, she's piling them up there. Man. If you've ever watched one of our shows and Michelle is on the show, I'll tell you what, if you had to pick about 10 of your friends or Michelle to take into an alley fight, you'd be a fool not like to pick Michelle. Now, I'm not saying she's not a girly girl, but I think she only bench presses like me. I'm going to take this big thing. So I'm just gonna, this looks like a box set. Okay. Um, I think it's time for me to at least start one more crate. Okay, you're counting six crates down. I'm going to get about ten. And then this pile of box, that's all box sets still in the full. If you want to make good friends with Donna on Saturday, She'll probably be on Friday. Right. She'll probably be working the register. When you get up front, ask her why one all the crates the same color. It'll eight ball and MTG. 
I knew something about it and why I was to say I would. But I don't, so I'm putting that away. Thelonious. There's about four of y'all who are thinking he ain't got enough Thelonious for us. Now you're thinking he's got enough Thelonious for us and him. The deceased milk personnel. That's in that first one, right? Think, right? This record is somehow full size. About a little Iggy Pop. A little bit of Iggy Pop in the house. Avco, we'll get went back to that. Avco Pros. Guys, I'm going to admit to you, here's a piece of trivia if you ever want to know. When the uh, when a sales rep, who helps us a lot, said, there's one title you didn't buy. And I said, who might that be? He said, Edgar Froze. And I said, send one. Send one. Some people out there talking to Eddie. He'll figure it out in a couple of minutes, but he didn't say anything to him. Smash Mouth. There's a little bit of Smash Mouth. Another Edgar Froze. Dairy Personnel. Dairy Personnel. Thelonious Monk. Football Freak. Football Freak. Pucho and the Latin Soul Brothers. I don't know Pucho. All right. Here's one that's getting some serious run. Um, Tommy Boy's Baddest Beats. House of Pain, Jump Around, is on here. Apache Gangsta is on here. Queen Latifah, Coolio, no wonder this is getting some run. Tommy Boy's Baddest Beats. Okay. Concerned about how many rules Gary Chapin, Cats in the Cradle, Taxi, A Better Life, A Better Place to Be. Hey, I Want Another Love Song is on here. Gary Chapin sings my all time, wrote and sang my all time favorite song, Circle, on the Greatest Hits Live album. Um, touched my heart forever the first time I heard that. And as you move through your years, it's a song about the uh, continuity of life. Iggy Pop, Aprons. That's what Iggy Pop's got going on. Wearing an apron. What's cool? This looks like something from back in the day. The America album, by the way, features a um, CD. There was one other David Bowie title this time. It was another EP, Lost His Love. Atomica, that's five. Like a rocket man, God bless the girl. Love is Lost, we'll put that back there close to the other David Bowie, which is with Bing. Not as much Christmas this year, thematically. Crenshaw, a couple more copies of that. If you were worried early on, Donald's one stepped up in there on that. Huh? Okay. There's some more Eighth Ball. There's some more Harry Chapin. You can get Ultraman for that. Then Milk People. That crate's jammed in there. Thelonious the Monk, now you're thinking he's got enough for me, my three friends himself, and two other dudes. Thelonious Monk. The Flying Burrito Brothers. The band quoted in David um, Allen Coe's um, Willie Whalen and Me. They said the burritos were everything that music would be. Somebody's thinking he can pull that out of his. The Foxo. Nope. Straight out of my brain. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cut toward myself, didn't I? Got me. What the hell have I happened on this? Record Store Day, Black Friday unboxing at the Record Bar in Wilmington, North Carolina. One of the few that have sold out already. 
for me when I this must be pretty good. We'll see how it happens. Cheech and Chong and Santa and his old lady. Oh Lord. Huh? I said oh Lord. I can only imagine. How can you be talking shit about this clothes? I think they might have done it. Motorhead, the lost tapes. Do you know what should have, why they should have been a record store about 25 or 30 years ago? Are you already laughing at me? Because right now they're finding lost tapes. If they'd done it 30 years ago, it would have been a new album. Motorhead, the lost tapes, live in Malibu. I think that's what that promo does. How many of those you got, Tony? Well, we got two in the box. Okay, in three. I see four. I see the fifth. I see the sixth. Um, number seven was on the way out. I feel that might be the right number. If somebody told you to watch this show because, you know, they... And we're we're fun loving group and don't take ourselves but so serious. But they tell you that on most Thursday nights, when I see a Jefferson Airplane album, I throw it through the store. Because I believe they should all be melted and the world should have a candle. But that's okay. The month huh? Well well, here's two more. Remastered the International Monterey International Pop Festival. Garcia reduced, uh, introduces them. The first side caught my eye, Somebody to Love, The Other Side of Life, White Rabbit. Uh, high Flying, The Ballad of You and Me and Punel. Okay. We move on. You're not leaving me out of the record store today. Brian Wilson. I'm saying that must be what he said. He must have said, the monkey said, and Brian Wilson said, What did monkey say to Brian Wilson? You ain't leaving me. Joe Strummer. A lot of luck selling Joe Strummer albums over the course of time. Dark Horse Records. Good stuff. Joe Strummer. Live at the Music Millennium. It's 22 years ago, right? I hear you, Dave. Uh oh. Iggy. Come out of here backwards. All right, the first time, Brian Ferry, taxi. I had to say that because there's no way I. Well, anyway. Bet on Brian Ferry any day of the week. Why? Yeah, because it's getting interesting over here now. Just don't give up on me. Dark Horse Records, the best I. Best of Dark Horse Records. It's a label's greatest hits. Splinter, Kenny Burke, Jabber. A little bit more Iggy Pop. Hmm. Wow, a disaster here for him to come in. But that's good, because that means we got what you need. Iggy, Papalonius. Every. Explore this. This is more box sets. I'm going to talk about. Tell me to revisit the box sets again. Revisit the box sets again. Nice. Um, come on. If this thing is live and unrehearsed, guess what? What was it? That's it. We wouldn't want that to be something in there. Not record store day, but something fun. All right, buddy. Looks like we're down to three. There's only one back there. The rest of them are those that you told me. Oh, so they're not necessarily uh, boxes. No. 
equal then are they? Yes, because we got the big tag on the end. Okay. Big crowd of storage room. Coal. Coal fire standards. Oh, she opened her own box. That's almost a finger cut. But I wouldn't have been able to it'll work this way for the index finger. Alright, buddy. Those are ones, that's all. Okay. Can you do that thing? No, this is. This here's records. I think this is the best box set record store day ever. Garcia, Dan, Quentin, um. Surprise, surprise, records. <laughs> Ministries, normal hygiene. First time we've had that out of the box. We have had a, we got a final ball here. That is not a record store day. Sweetheart, this is a regular order. Yep. This is a regular order. We still have a more high order of high chain. What is that? That's a regular order. This does not say record store day either. Okay. Record store, record store, record store day. I didn't do a very good job of really. But that ministry. Well, I did do a good job once I saw it. Okay, so you're not sure if these are records. We have no reason to believe these are uh, box sets. Right? Okay. Ah, back on target. Who are you waiting for? Can I and they just showed up. And then God showed up. Dan Nugent. Did you think I was lightweight on the chili peppers earlier? No. Don't sit there and think. Just watch. Chili peppers. The dream canteen. This thing has got an exclusive cover, poster, limited edition, paint, neon paint vinyl. A chili pepper fan, you need to come on over here and pepper it on down. Two boxes here. So I can get too far away from here. I need to tell. Well, they, they're going to work on that for me, I'm sure. We need to give them a bone crate, if nothing else.
the music from the movie The Watchmen. Again, we're not putting them in any alphabetical order now. I knew that. Not proud of it because I'm going to get a little lecture, I'm sure. Doors in Paris. Bobby Cole, A Point of View by Bobby Cole, the late jazz pianist. You know the guy? Did I mention I'm over the monkeys? That's where I am. Some more blues? Doors? Uh-oh. We'll just, uh... Wait, his name is Eddie, but it's also Edward. So, David Lynch? Um, Blues Paris, The Doors, Batman in Paris, Watchmen. Mm. Keep on, keep on. That's a store today. We'll put it back in. You thought he bought four chains and chains? No, I did not buy four chains and chains. There's some more. Bought a couple of Duran Durans? No. There's some more Duran Duran. Set the little inside. Ted Nugent? Still a while? Teddy. Tell a story about a friend of mine who tore up a Vandalized an elementary school to the point of no return. Told the judge it was Jack Nugent. Well, it's Pepe Lopez and Ted Nugent's fault. The judge, not being familiar with Pepe, said, Well, ask him, do you know Ted Nugent? And he said, Nope. He said, Do you know Pepe Lopez? He said, Nope. Together, I know who the hell they are. All right. What have you not seen? If you could text me, what have you not seen? Pure wish. Uh -oh. Pure wish. What a good rock and roll, jazz, and soul record store day. Pure wish. I need to sell these records that you think I was going to sell with us. Anyway, the cure. Wish. You don't have to wish you had these albums. If you're anywhere, what do you, what's the furthest? Kid from Richmond a couple of years ago? Mm hmm. Yeah, they are. Okay, kid from Richmond. Folks from all over North Carolina. If you're east of 95 in any shape, form, or state, you might take a look at this and say, this looks like maybe the best, best inventory I've seen. Is that unfortunate? Doors open at 8. Show starts at 8. Don't get that music a whole lot. We do sell, um, the reason we put them in these crates is we do um, desk service is what I call it. You'll come up to this door, tell us what you'd like. We, that way we can get it to one so that the first person, if there's just a reseller, doesn't basically put us out of business. Didn't say the resellers weren't welcome. Just please know that we have a limit of one. That looks regular. Back to the Black Label Society. If you didn't see that, that's from way earlier. You probably also thought somewhere along the line I didn't have enough sweet. Well, here it comes. Wait, girl, you got another crate? You do? I don't think you do, Baxter. Did I do something dumb back here? 
figure it out in just a minute. Sweet. Head cap. Head cap with a picture disc. The Baddest Beats hip hop album. Random one packed in here. In the deuce now that we don't, we, we, this is the original opening. And we have more than by the alphabet. Duran Duran comes back again. Duran Duran. Duran Duran. Duran Duran. Sweet. Not a lot of grunge up in here. Ah, oh, yeah. Steve Forbert and the Rough Squirrels. You know, this is down to just a few. First time on vinyl. Steve Forbert. Couple of those here. See what happens in this one. I feel the smell and anticipate what box. Okay. I open the fleet one back. Okay. Here's another fleet one back. Fully committed to the fleet one back alternate crowd. And then last and certainly not least. Drum roll, please. Todd Rundgren. Another box set of Todd. Huh? Okay. Okay. Some more of the Cure. I think he, God, he was woeful on Cure. I got your Cure right down here. Oh, I'm sorry. Cure, cure, cure. I'm going to the record bar because they got enough records for me. Let me make up a song. Cure. I woke up on a Saturday morning. Huh? I woke up on a Friday morning. I didn't have nothing to do. Then I need a record or two. So I went to the record bar because I needed a cure in, the, in my car. It wasn't too far. Because what? Okay. The door is finished this up. Fitting. Okay. There is at least. One more box out there coming. It has a few odds and ends. That is what we have in the house right this minute. This is box sets. That is box sets. This is the vinyl. We only bought one cassette. That is the uh, Keith Richards. We only bought a couple of the Fleetwood Mac um, alternates on CD. We started at 8 o'clock Friday morning. We're here at 7. All the records you could want and eat. The align forms somewhere. Do you think it'll be Thanksgiving afternoon? I think it'll be later Thanksgiving night of uh, folks that are, have been so good to us over the years. If you can hear my voice and you're anywhere in America, you have access to our store by walk-in on Friday, by internet on Saturday, Saturday morning at 9 o'clock. And then the records showed up, and that's all I got to say about that.